AFS Intercultural Programs or AFS, originally the American Field Service is an international youth exchange organization. It consists of over 50 independent, not-for-profit organizations, each with its own network of volunteers, professionally staffed offices, volunteer board of directors and website. In 2015, 12,578 students traveled abroad on an AFS cultural exchange program, between 99 countries. The U.S.-based partner, AFS USA, sends more than 1,100 U.S. students abroad and places international students with more than 2,300 U.S. families each year. More than 424,000 people have gone abroad with AFS and over 100,000 former AFS students live in the U.S. History <laughs> World War I When war broke out in 1914, the American colony of Paris organized an «ambulance», the French term for a temporary military hospital, just as it had done in the Franco-Prussian War of 1870 when the «American Ambulance» had been under tent set up near the Paris home of its founder, the celebrated Paris American dentist, Dr. Thomas W. Evans. The «American Ambulance» of 1914 took over the premises of the unfinished Lycée Pasteur in the suburb of newly sur seine and was run by the nearby American Hospital of Paris. The volunteer drivers of 1914 found themselves behind the wheels of motorized, not horse-driven, vehicles, Model Ts, purchased from the nearby Ford plant in lavalois Perret. In the fall of 1914, when the war front moved away from Paris, the American ambulance set up an outpost in Julie and sent out detached units of volunteer drivers to serve informally with the British and Belgian armies in the north. In early 1915, one of those drivers, A. Pyatt Andrew, was appointed Inspector of Ambulances by Robert Bacon, head of the American Ambulance and one of Andrew's colleagues from the Taft administration. The newly appointed inspector toured the ambulance sections of northern France and learned that the American volunteers were bored with so-called jitney work. Transporting wounded soldiers from railheads to hospitals far back from the front lines. French army policy prohibited foreign nationals from traveling into battle zones. In March 1915, Andrew met with Captain Amy Dominc, head of the French Army Automobile Service, and pleaded his case for the American volunteers. They desired, above all, he said, to pick up the wounded from the front lines, to look danger squarely in the face, in a word, to mingle with the soldiers of France and to share their fate." Domink agreed to give Andrew a trial. The success of Section Z was immediate and overwhelming, and by April 15, 1915, the French created American Ambulance Field Service operating under French Army Command. This marked the formal beginning of American Ambulance Field Service, three units of which made their mark during battles in northern France, the Champagne, Verdun, and the Vosges. By the summer of 1916, the field service severed its ties with the American ambulance and moved its operations from cramped quarters in Neuilly to Paris, onto the spacious grounds of the Delessert Château at 21 Rue Renouard in the Passy area of Paris. There, it grew rapidly over the next year, continuing to provide «sanitary sections» to the French Army, while also serving as a recruitment source of combat pilots for the newly formed Escadrille Lafayette, one of whose prime movers, Dr. Edmund L. Gross, was the field services in-house physician. When the United States entered the war in April 1917, the French Army successfully appealed to the field service for drivers for its military transport sections, 
And so, no longer limited to medical transport, the organization renamed itself the American Field Service, thus establishing today's well-known acronym, AFS. Before the AFS was absorbed into the much larger, federalized U.S. Army Ambulance Service, it had numbered more than 2,500 volunteers, including some 800 drivers of French military transport trucks. It had actively recruited its drivers from the campuses of American colleges and universities, promoting morale by creating units with volunteers from the same schools. All financed their own uniforms and transportation to France where they worked under the same conditions as French ambulance drivers—with the same pay—and often found themselves serving under extremely dangerous missions on the front. By the end of the war, some 127 men who had served with the AFS were killed and a notable number of individuals and units earned the Croix de Guerre and the Médaille de Guerre for their heroic actions as drivers. Other volunteer ambulance corps served the French army as foreign sanitary sections during World War I. The first was Henry Harjas formation units under the American Red Cross, followed by Richard Norton's American Volunteer Motor Motor Ambulance Corps, organised in London under the St John's Ambulance the British Red Cross. Later, both would merge—under the American Red Cross—as the Norton Harjas. In the summer and fall of 1917, when all the volunteer ambulance services were invited to join the new U.S. Army Ambulance Service, Norton's unit simply disbanded, while Harjas, under the American Red Cross, moved into Italy where they would subsequently serve under the USAAS. Once the Americans entered the war, many drivers joined combat units, both French and American, serving as officers in a variety of assignments, notably in air force and artillery units. At the same time, a large percentage of volunteers signed up for the military, thenceforth members of USAAS units, but remaining identified with their AFS past a past kept alive through the work of HQ, still at 21 Rue Renouard, where a bulletin was published and where visiting ambulance drivers could find temporary lodgings and meals. <laughs> <laughs> World War I publications The young AFS drivers came from prominent families in the States", and had attended, or were still attending, one of almost a hundred prominent colleges or universities around the country. Also represented were a smaller group from America's professional class, doctors, lawyers, architects, painters, brokers, businessmen, poets and writers. This literate group produced many letters, diaries, journals, and even poetry. The AFS collected many of these writings into Friends of France, published in 1916. The service used this volume to recruit more volunteers to the "...gloriously exciting and grandly humanitarian." Work of an Ambulancier on the Western Front, also published in 1916, Ambulance No. 10, by Leslie Buswell, was composed of the author's letters back to the States. Buswell went on to assist Henry Sleeper in the AFS's recruiting and fundraising offices in Boston. Other literary ambulanciers brought their letters and journals and memoirs to American publishers in the coming years. William York Stevenson produced to the front in a fliver in 1917, stayed on in France after militarization, and composed from Poilu to Yank. In 1918, Robert Imbrie published Behind the Wheel of a War Ambulance in 1918, as did Julian Bryan with Ambulance 464. Encore des Blessis AFS recruits who joined the service in late spring 1917, after Congress's declaration of war, were greeted by Pyatt Andrew with a request would they forego ambulance driving for trucking supplies to the front? 
800 AFS recruits joined the Camion service, including John Cotts, who published Trucking to the Trenches in 1918. After the war, the field service produced three hefty volumes of writings from numerous AFS alumni, including excerpts from the previously published books above. Topic: Between the Wars. Following the Great War, the AFS became sponsors for the French Fellowships—graduate student scholarships for study in France and in the U.S.—which were ultimately administered by the Institute of International Education and were precedents for the Fulbright Foundation exchanges. AFS also created an association for its veterans, publishing a bulletin, organizing reunions and contributing a wing to house its memorabilia at the Museum of Franco-American Cooperation in Blurincourt, France. <laughs> <laughs> World War II When World War II broke out, AFS reorganised its ambulance service, sending units first to France and then to the British armies in North Africa, Italy, India Burma and with the Free French for the final drive from southern France to Germany. <laughs> Post-war In September 1946, Stephen Galati, President of AFS, established the American Field Service International Scholarships. During the 1947 48 school year, the first students came from ten countries including Czechoslovakia, Estonia, France, Great Britain, Greece, Hungary, the Netherlands, New Zealand, Norway, and Syria. Modern day As of 2014, there are over 55 AFS organizations worldwide serving over 80 different countries, providing exchange opportunities for over 13,000 students and teachers annually. AFS is one of the largest volunteer-based organizations of its kind in the world with more than 440,000 volunteers worldwide and more than 5,000 in the U.S. Tens of thousands of volunteers and a small staff make the AFS program happen worldwide. AFS volunteers are both young and old, busy professionals and retirees, and students and teachers. AFS provides development and training opportunities for volunteers. AFS volunteers help in many areas including facilitating the AFS mission in the local community and schools by finding and interviewing students and families. Further involvement includes serving as a contact person for an AFS student, organizing fundraising events, and arranging activities for AFS students. As a volunteer-driven organization, AFS depends on donations of time to implement and monitor the delivery of programs. Notable exception in the AFS network is its presence in China. Here AFS offers an outbound long-term student exchange program since 1997 and an inbound program since 2001. These programs however, are run and administrated by the China Education Association for International Exchange an organization focusing on teacher exchanges that was founded by the Chinese Foreign Ministry and the Ministry of Education. <laughs> Statement of purpose AFS is an international, voluntary, non-governmental, non-profit organization that provides intercultural learning opportunities to help people develop the knowledge, skills and understanding needed to create a more just and peaceful world. Notable AFS Ambulance Corps Volunteers 
Julian Bryan Preston M. Birch Ward Chamberlain Tom Cole Malcolm Cowley Harry Crosby Patrick Dennis Sidney Howard Arthur Jeffress John Howard Lawson J. Roderick MacArthur Waldo Pierce Irving Penn William Seabrook Bayard Tuckerman, Jr. Notable AFS exchange students Edgar Ramirez, Venezuelan actor, went to Austria Lee Bollinger, the 19th president of Columbia University, went to Brazil Luca Parmitano, Italian astronaut, went to U.S. Hans Schlegel, German astronaut, went to U.S. Catherine Coleman, American astronaut, went to Norway Anis Basweden, current governor of Jakarta, went to USA 1987–1988 Dixie Dancercore, Belgian explorer, went to the U.S. John Dayton, Harvard Business School professor, went to USA from South Africa. Jan Eliasson, former president of the UN General Assembly and Swedish Minister of Foreign Affairs, went to the U.S. UN Deputy Secretary General from July 1, 2012. César Gaviria, former president of Colombia, went to the U.S. Israel Hanakoglu, professor of biochemistry and science advisor of the Israeli Prime Minister, went to the U.S. Yoshihiro Hattori, went to the U.S. Bill Irwin, American actor, went to Northern Ireland. Ernesto Jerez, a Dominican sportscaster, Kenneth the First Juster, United States Ambassador to India, went to Thailand. David Madden, American quiz show champion and founder of the International History B and Bowl, went to Austria. Zalme Khalazad, former United States Ambassador to the United Nations, went to the U.S. Christine Lagarde, current IMF Director, former Minister of Economic Affairs, Industry and Employment of France, went to the U.S. Ulrich Lunacek, current Austrian Member of the European Parliament, went to the U.S. Margaret H. Marshall, 23rd Chief Justice of the Massachusetts Supreme Judicial Court, and the first female to hold that position AFS to U.S. from South Africa. Milo, a Belgian singer, went to the U.S. Jan Klose, German-born singer-songwriter, went to the U.S. Klaus Eberhardinger, Austrian singer and presenter, went to the U.S. Diana Muir, an American writer and historian, went to Chile. Tina Nunnally, an American author and translator, went to Denmark. Helmut Panka, a member of the board of directors at Microsoft, went to the U.S. Gerhard Fanzelter, Austrian ambassador to the United Nations, went to the U.S. Nicole Rash, 2007 Miss Indiana, went to Bolivia. Lieben Skere, Belgian comedian, went to Iceland. Yasuhisa Shiyazaki, Japanese politician, went to the U.S. Linda Wells, American editor-in-chief, went to Turkey. Craig Wilson, American columnist, went to Great Britain. James Woolsey, a foreign policy specialist and former director of Central Intelligence and head of the Central Intelligence Agency, February 5, 1993 to January 10, 1995, went to Sweden. Colin Bundy Principal of Green Templeton College, Oxford AFS to U.S. from South Africa J. Christopher Stevens, U.S. Ambassador to Libya killed while serving as U.S. Ambassador to Libya went to Spain Ilona Zabo Brazilian political scientist, went to Latvia 
Ismail Cem Ipekci Turkish Foreign Minister went to USA Rogelio Furter, Argentinian diplomat went to the U.S. Susanna Malcora, United Nations Chef de Cabinet to the Executive Office, served as Chief Operating Officer and Deputy Executive Director of the World Food Programme went to the U.S. Jorge Arguello, Argentinian Ambassador went to the U.S. Julio Freyde, Uruguayan actor, radio announcer and pianist went to the U.S. Alfre Finbogason, Icelandic soccer player went to Italy Alfred Bialek, German entertainer went to the U.S. Ron Underwood, American director went to Sri Lanka, a.k.a. Salon Torbjorn Roe Isaacson, Norwegian politician went to the U.S. Margareta Tilberg, Swedish art historian, went to Switzerland. Ulrich Tekor, German actor, went to the U.S. Renata Sora, Brazilian actress, went to the U.S. Tim Noakes, an A-rated South African professor of exercise and sport science at the University of Cape Town, went to the U.S. Shamsi Sipsup, Filipina, Miss Universe 2011 third runner-up. Diane Scipioni, U.S. Financial Advisor and U.S. Municipal Pension System Advocate went to Sri Lanka. Samantha Cristoforetti, Italian astronaut went to the U.S. <laughs> AFS USA, Inc. AFS USA, Inc. AKA, AFS USA is the AFS partner organization in the United States and is a registered 501 C3. Approximately 1,100 participants go abroad with AFS USA annually. Over 2,300 international AFS students from AFS USA partner countries are hosted in the U.S. annually. AFS USA is supported by a volunteer base of over 5,000. Students aged 15 to 18 may partake in AFS USA programs, while GAP programs are available for individuals over 18 years of age on a GAP year. Topic: <laughs> AFS USA Public Diplomacy Initiatives. Public diplomacy initiatives at AFS USA offer support for international students to study in the United States and for U.S. students to study abroad via full-funded scholarships by grant-making foundations or by the Educational and Cultural Affairs Bureau of the U.S. Department of State. Congress Bundestag. The Congress Bundestag Youth Exchange Program was launched in 1983 by the U.S. Congress and the German Parliament. AFS currently provides 50 merit-based, full scholarships for U.S. students and 60 scholarships for German participants. In Germany it is called the Parliamentarisches Patenschaftsprogramm. PPP and over the years the German authorities have made many efforts to present this as their own program. Not only AFS Germany but all competitors are more or less behind the scene service providers so people may not recognize who is doing this program in Germany. Topic National Security Language Initiative for Youth The National Security Language Initiative for Youth program is part of a broader government-wide presidential initiative that prepares American citizens to be leaders in a global world. 
Now more than ever, it is important that Americans have the necessary linguistic skills and cultural knowledge to promote international dialogues, support American engagement abroad, and attain better understanding of global cultures and issues. NSLIY encourages a lifetime of language study and cultural understanding by providing more than 600 fully funded scholarships to American high school students. In 2018, NSLIY offers academic scholarships to learn Arabic, Mandarin Chinese, Hindi, Indonesian, Korean, Persian, Tajiki, Russian, and Turkish through summer and year-long programs in China, Morocco, Oman, Jordan, India, Korea, Russia, Tajikistan, Turkey, Taiwan, Indonesia, and other countries around the world. Topic: Future Leaders Exchange Flex. The Future Leaders Exchange Flex program originated in the Freedom Support Act, which was sponsored by U.S. Senator Bill Bradley and was passed by Congress in 1992. Flex provides full merit-based scholarships to students from the countries of the former Soviet Union. Kennedy Lugar Youth Exchange and Study yes. Kennedy Lugar Youth Exchange and Study yes was initiated by the Department of State in the aftermath of September 11. It aims to build bridges of understanding between Americans and people in countries with significant Muslim populations. AFS USA Scholarships AFS USA awards more than $3 million in financial aid and scholarships to students each year. More than 40% of AFS USA participants receive some form of financial assistance each year either need-based, merit-based or both. A partial list of scholarships and financial aid Global Leaders is the primary AFS scholarship program, offering partial need and merit-based scholarships to qualified applicants. Faces of America is AFS USA's signature diversity program and makes it possible for high school students from underserved communities to receive scholarship awards to study abroad in more than 23 countries around the world. AFS Family Scholarships are awards are given to applicants who are former host family members, returnees, children of returnees, and of descendants of AFS ambulance drivers. The Yoshihatori Memorial Scholarship is a merit-based scholarship as designed to promote intercultural understanding and peace, and was created in memory of Yoshihatori, an AFS exchange student to the U.S. from Japan. The Toshiyuku Tanaka American Embassy Scholarship is a need-based and merit-based scholarship awarded through the Pacific Affairs Section of the U.S. Embassy in Tokyo and the generosity of Mr. Toshiyuku Tanaka. <laughs> 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 